Yes, giddy good guys, Motorcycle Ron Tom here. Back at it again with the Moto Vlogs. I know it's been a minute. Had on a big bike today. In case you guys didn't check out my last video, I bought a little 110 cc pit bike. You should go check it out. But anyway, guys, so what we'll talk about today. It's been kind of hot lately, you know. I ain't gonna lie, I live so close to work, I haven't been riding my bike. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of, of annoying sometimes when on gear when you work outside and you're just drenched in sweat and you put on your helmet and it's like, nah, bro, I'm good. But, see, what bothers me the most is, see, I get it, it's hot out. And then now, it's like when all the squids come out, man. You know, in case you don't know what a squid is, this is somebody who just does not wear motorcycle gear. Honestly, rather, they're not educated about what motorcycle gear actually does or they're just fucking brain dead and they don't think it's actually going to protect you. So, I'm not going to talk about on this video bashing squids, thinking they're fucking stupid or they're missing a chromosome because they refuse to wear a helmet and they just strap it to the side of their bike and wear basketball shorts. No. I don't talk about that. What I want to talk about is, as you can see, I got my front face of camera going again. You can see my beautiful self. What's up, guys? Mm, you know, I look good. Rock, rocking my new jacket. And I want to talk about is the gear you could wear in the summertime that'll keep you safe and protected and it'll essentially feel like you're just wearing your regular clothes. Now, obviously, the big number one is a helmet. Uh, wear a full face helmet. They're vented. They're great. Half a fucking helmet are fucking worthless. Fucking dipshit. Hopefully the camera picked up how close that actually was, but anyway, half helmets are worthless. I mean, they might protect you from your skull getting cracked open, and that's really about it, dude. They provide no protection. It's like, yay, my skull's okay, but... <laughs> yay, my skull's okay, but my face looks like a fucking jack-o'-lantern. Hope you guys like that sweet-ass red bomb. <laughs> anyway, so number two is a jacket, man. Gotta wear a jacket. Now, there are three different types of jackets. Uh, there's a mess jacket, which that'll keep you the coolest in the summertime, hands down. But the downfall of mesh is it's also not the most protective jacket of them all. Now, I wore a mesh jacket for the past four and a half years I've been riding. I just recently upgraded jackets, which we'll get to my new jacket here in a minute. And it's great, man. It feels like you're wearing a t-shirt. Uh, I mean, it comes with the protection of the elbow pads and the back pad and everything. You know, it's cool. So get, that's essentially just a minimal protection jacket. And, you know, protect you from the sun, getting sunburned, and all just, just fucked up from not wearing anything. Hey, what's up, girl? You looking good for her mom? Mmm. Mmm. Ain't just that kid. Mmm. Well, I guess if you didn't have a kid, but anyway. <laughs> now, the second kind of jacket is uh, textile. What's textile is a step up from mesh. It's a lot better material. And not all textile jackets are really breathable like mesh. Because mesh, you can essentially just see straight through the jacket. Like, you could see, like, a t-shirt through it. But they also have zippers throughout the jacket that you can open up and allow wind to go through. It's awesome. Gives you the same protection, you know, on the elbows and the pad, or the shoulders and shit. Sorry, a lot of people around here don't know how roundabouts work. So it gives you that, you know, nice protection. A lot, definitely an upgrade compared to the old mesh. Now, the third jacket is leather. Which leather is by far the hottest material you could possibly wear. As you can see from my camera, I am wearing a leather jacket right now. And it's about 90 degrees. But, the nice part about this leather jacket is it's perforated. And it has mesh inserts on the jacket. So, the, it's got holes throughout all the jackets. The small little baby holes. Plus the mesh. And it allows great wind flow. Like, I feel fantastic. If I want to compare it... Uh, towards my old uh, mess jacket There is a oh shit. There is a difference. Yes, and I went the hell of fucking wrong way That's fun. Yes, there is a difference. This jacket is a little bit warmer But I get the added protection of the leather and it has a lot stronger material in it and this, this is a pretty nice leather from just I mean I've had it for a few months but anyway, yeah, that... Oh, shit. Should have stopped. Whatever. Stop signs are optional. <laughs> anyway, so that's it with jackets, man. So the next one's gonna be gloves, man. Gloves are incredibly important. I just don't understand why people don't understand how they're important. Now, think about it. When you fall, 
the first thing you do is say if you're just like tripping over something a typical habit a person has is reaching their hands out to try to grab themselves that's the whole point of gloves because if you fall off a bike you're going to try to catch yourself now they make all kinds of fucking gloves man they make so many goddamn gloves it's fucking ridiculous bruh Uh, having fun. Anyway, like they make so many different kinds, but they make tons and tons and tons and tons of summer gloves, and I just went in a big ass fucking circle. As now that I'm out of the circle, like I said, they make tons and tons of gloves. So many different pairs of gloves, it's ridiculous. Now they make tons of summer gloves. They make ones that go uh, past your uh, to bleep to bleep wrists. They make leather ones. They make. It's kind of mesh looking ones, they make cloth ones, whatever. I like leather ones. Personal preference. And I'm hoping I can get on here. Now, and the gloves are vented, is what I think a lot of people don't understand, which I'll take a close-up picture of what the knuckles on my gloves look like. But essentially there's like three vents right in front of my knuckles. And when you ride with your hand like you normally would on both bars, you, it just lets so much wind in. I guess if you have hand guards, it kind of defeats the purpose of having the vents on the gloves. But it's just a great design. Tons of companies make them. And it just gives you so much good airflow. And it keeps your hands from being fucking sweaty. It's awesome. Now, uh, pants. Wear pants. I mean, don't wear fucking shorts. I, 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 I don't even want to get me started on dumbasses that wear shorts. But wear nice, I mean, I guess if you want to and be a cheap ass, at least wear jeans. I wear a pair of Kevlar motorcycle riding pants. There's zero difference between hot level between these and the pants, but these are a lot thicker material and have Kevlar in all the protective spots, so when your ass goes down, the jeans aren't going to melt into your legs. Which, again, they make tons and tons of pairs of these pants in all different price ranges, as they do of all the gear I'm talking about. And lastly, is boots, or motorcycle shoes. Not a regular pair of shoes, I'm talking about motorcycle shoes or motorcycle boots, or a nice good boot or shoe that goes above your ankle. Because you don't want your shoes flying off in a wreck, dude. I've seen a couple videos of people who was squidding crash and their shoes flew off because they were probably wearing some goddamn Nikes or some fucking Jordans or something, I don't know. It's fucking stupid. And like every other... Uh, blah, 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 words, English is hard. Every other uh, motorcycle gear I'm talking about, they make perforated boots that vent. They're really good, strong material. I don't know what this guy's doing. Like I said, people around here don't understand roundabouts very well. <laughs> anyway, I had to get another rev bomb in real quick. <laughs> Because red bombs is fun anyway. So they make vented boots, man. It's nice. Now my personal boots are not vented. I'm sure I probably would notice a difference if they were. But I also ride year round, and I wear these boots all year round. So I don't really want to have cold ass feet and have more than one pair of boots. But up to you guys. I mean, as long as it covers your ankle. And the lasers aren't hanging off, and it's not going to fly off in a crash, man. You're good. But anyway, guys, I'll put all the links in the description below just for the gear I rock, just in case you're curious. Like, it's 90 degrees outside right now. I'm good, dude. I'm talking. I'm not drenched in sweat. I feel great. I mean, I guess if you're stuck in traffic, it would suck. But, I mean, that's so different. Because, guys, your lives matter. Okay? That's what I tell people when they ask me all the time, why do you wear all this gear when you live less than a mile away from work? It's like, guys, I give a damn about my life, and if I so happen to crash on my way to work, somebody cuts me off, somebody stops suddenly, somebody rear-ends me, you sure as fuck bet I want that extra chance to live because I decided to put my jacket on, put my helmet on, put my gloves on, put my pants on. Because I don't want to have a fucked up day. You know what I'm saying? I'm 23, and there are a lot more bikes I'm going to ride. Prepare for the slide, baby. Not to ride is the best thing I can tell to all you new riders. And a lot of people who just aren't educated on gear like this. 
But anyway, guys, if you like this video, feel free to hit up that like button. If you haven't done so already, feel free to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys for the next one. Later.